Hey drivers, we're back with another one here at Go Gear Drives, and today we're going to talk about the range of racing game fever. Oh boy, this is going to be a good one. Tell me if you had a similar conversation to this one. So the other day, my uncle asked me, what is your channel about? And I told him it was about sim racing. He was like, oh really, cool, so you play Forza? And I was like, well yeah, I used to play that a lot, but now I mainly play more realistic simulators. He then looks at me with a very puzzled look. It was in that moment I was inspired to make this video for all you out there trying to explain your hobby to your friends and family. Real quick though, if you like content like this, please subscribe and like the video. Perhaps this will also introduce new racers to the broad range of racing games. So let's start with level 1, the extreme casual, or the Mario Kart enthusiast. This is where most of us start. We pop in Mario Kart and destroy all our friends on the track. We then think we are the best racer ever. It's a world where we once believed drifting was faster, and if you were in last, you will always catch up because of mere ability and a few awesome items. Also, you must have picked the best car because yours was going so much faster than everyone else's. Ah yes, the good old rubber band effect, found in most arcade games. Real quick, let me explain the rubber band effect. Simply put, it's artificial intelligence found in racing games. It keeps fast players from getting too far ahead of computer controlled opponents or even other players. So in other words, if you're in last, you now have the fastest car. This balances the playing field for all players regardless of skill. Games found in this category are designed for pure fun and broad appeal. You can play with anyone at all ages. Realism goes out the window. Physics, tracks, and more, not realistic at all. The most realistic thing in this genre is often the look of the car itself in titles such as like Asphalt 9. However, the way the car drives and sounds is often the farthest thing from realism. Some other games in this level include games like Hot Wheels Unleashed, and even mobile games such as Forza Street. All great games, lots of fun on the go, don't diss them. Okay, now on to level 2. The casual but budding race car driver. In this level you'll find games like Forza Horizon 5. You now have discovered that you actually like racing games, so you gravitate towards the most popular low barrier entry games on the market. You probably don't have a wheel at this point, and are still using a joystick to steer the vehicle in game. Gamification rules above all else in this area. The physics however are still good enough that you may learn that taking the inside of the corner all the way through may not be the fastest way around each turn. Drifting though still is quite easy by just pressing a couple buttons you can get the hang of it and you feel like the Drift King himself. The rubber band effect still exists in these titles at times, and from time to time they are still not too serious to scare away the Mario Kart loving friends because of this. Often this group straddles level 2 and 3, a direct continuation of level 2. So let's go ahead and jump straight to that one. On to level 3, The Collector. In this level you'll find games like Gran Turismo and Forza Motorsport. At this point you are ready to express your passion for cars. You know their names, the difference between an Acura NSX and a Ferrari F40. You perhaps understand historical factors and have consumed countless hours of videos about your favorite cars. This is the level where true sim racers are born. Many at this stage believe that this is the pinnacle of racing video games. The graphics are so real, the engine sounds are incredible, the racing is so realistic, even gone are the rubber band effects. You now have to use raw skill to laugh your friends. Even I at one point was here. Let's face it, all of us were here once. We are entering the world of the Gran Turismos and the Forza Motorsport games. These games often claim to be the real driving simulators. Granted, these games pioneered much of the serious sim racing titles we drive today, but they still try to cater towards the masses with a focus on graphics, car collecting, car upgrades, decoration and historical information for the car lovers out there. Oh, and while riding without much consequences. These games are fantastic fun and provide many educational experiences on learning racing lines, car setups, and more. I was drawn in when playing Gran Turismo 2 years ago. At this level, you probably are looking at buying a wheel because you find you can have more fine control on the car movements. However, you can still be just as fast with a controller as these games are designed to work very well with them. Due to this fact, the detail feedback and response in the wheel is far less than you'll find in level 4, but you don't know that yet. Drivers at this point either stay with the controller because they find the wheel strange, or 
they push through and try to learn what the wheel is actually telling them, although with limited information. But for those who do begin to understand the precise and realism that, that can be found in racing games, they begin to want to heighten that simulation experience. Alright guys, we've made it. This brings us to level 4. The full on racing fever has taken effect. We are now dealing with the sim racer. It's time to put all your years of training to the test. You hop in your racing rig, grab your steering wheel, and turn on a monitor, triple screens, or VR headset. You're ready to race for real. Yes driver, you have reached level 4. It can be a very dangerous area, and you will be humbled. But you will have fun learning more about racecraft and honing your skills. These games are in fact the same ones real world drivers use for training, like iRacing or Assetto Corsa Competizione. These games are so real in fact that some sim racers have actually transitioned into real world racing. Yes, with these games the focus is to create the most realistic physics, sounds, rules, regulations, and truest motorsports experience possible. You learn more about setups such as adjusting the car's arrow and ducting, fuel levels and more. You program your button box to match all the dials and buttons found in real cars. You're careful not to hit the wall or crash to others because you want to actually finish the race. The games are designed to take full advantage of less expensive wheels and rig setups to moderate setups with entry level direct drive wheels all the way up to one hundreds of thousands of dollars full motion simulators. The signals sent from these titles include everything from suspension travel, traction loss, air movement for fans, and much much more. This is the level of racing detail that level 3 racing games do not provide. Trust me, there's a whole lot more of it. Another credit to the realism of these games is that during the pandemic, many actual motorsports used these games as substitutes for doing the real thing. Now I can go on and on about sim racing and more details about it, but you know what? Feel free to ask questions in the comments below, and I'm sure that someone down there will be glad to answer it. Also, please follow this channel for more. I definitely will be doing more videos like this in the future, and if you like these types of videos, hit the subscribe button and like for more. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and please, as always, drive safe.